Yo, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about our calculations in inventory management. In our previous video, we talked about the theory part of inventory management. We shall start with a question on stock levels. And the question goes like, assume two products A and B. And the minimum usage for the products is 50 units per week each and the maximum usage is 150 units per week each and then the average usage is 100 units per week each then the lead time lead time is four to six weeks then and that's for product a then for product b the lead time is two to four weeks and then the order quantity or the economic order quantity for product a it's 600 units and then for product B it's a thousand units then required required they want us to calculate for the various stock levels and we have four main stock levels that is the reorder level the minimum stock level maximum stock level and then the average stock level so we are going to calculate for them one by one we shall start with the reorder level and the formula for calculating for reorder level is maximum usage times maximum lead time remember we had two products and that is product a and then product b so we shall first calculate for the reorder level of product a reorder level of product a product a had the maximum usage of 150 and then the maximum lead time it had a lead time of four to six weeks so the maximum lead time is six yeah, then when we multiply 150 times 6, we get 900 units. And that is the reorder level for product A. Then for product B, the maximum usage is still 150. And the maximum lead time product B had a lead time of 2 to 4 weeks. Therefore, the maximum lead time is 4 weeks. Yeah, and when we multiply 150 times 4, we get 600 units. And those are the two reorder levels for the two products product a and b 900 units and 600 units then the next level is the minimum stock level and the formula for calculating for minimum stock level is reorder level minus average usage rate times average lead time yeah and then for product a we had the reorder level for product a was 900 units then minus into brackets average usage the average usage was 100 from the question then times the average lead time product a had a lead time of four to six weeks and the figure in between is the average lead time which is five yeah so it's 900 minus into brackets 100 times five yeah, and when we use a calculator we get 400 units and that is the minimum stock level for product a then for product B, product B had the reorder level of 600 units, then minus into brackets the average usage rate from the question was 100, then times the average lead time. Product, product B had a lead time of 2 to 4 weeks. Yeah, and the figure in between is 3, so the average lead time is 3 weeks. Or you can add 2 plus 4 and then divide by 2, you get 3. Yeah, the average lead time is 3. Yeah, and when we subtract using a calculator, we get 300 units as the minimum stock level for product B. Yeah, and those are the two minimum stock levels for the two products. Product A, it's 400 units and product B, it's 300 units. Then another stock level is the maximum stock level and the formula for calculating for maximum stock level is reorder level plus economic order quantity minus into brackets minimum usage rate times minimum lead time. Yeah, and we shall start with product A. Product A had the reorder level of 900 units then plus the economic order quantity is the same as the order quantity. Yeah, and from the question for product A it was 600 units. Then minus into brackets. The minimum usage rate 
from the question it was 50 and then the minimum lead time product a had a lead time of four to six weeks therefore the minimum lead time is four yeah and then when we put it in a in a calculator we get the maximum stock level for product a as 1300 units then the maximum stock level for product b product b had the order level of 600 units then plus the economic order quantity for product b from the question was 1000 units then minus into brackets the minimum usage rate for product b was 50 then times the minimum lead time product b had a lead time of two to four weeks therefore the minimum lead time is two yeah and when we put it in the calculator we get the maximum stock level for product B as 1,500 units. Yeah, and those are the two maximum stock levels for the two products. For product A, it's 1,300 units. And for product B, it's 1,500 units. And the last level we are going to calculate for is the average stock level. The formula for calculating for average stock level is a half of minimum level plus maximum level another formula for calculating for average stock level can be q out of two for product a we said it's a half into brackets maximum level plus minimum level yeah so a half into brackets the maximum level for product a was 1300 units and the minimum level was 400 units and when we add and divide by two we get the average stock level is 850 units, and that is for product A. Then for product B, it's a half into brackets. The minimum level for product B was 300 units, and the maximum level was 1,500 units. And when we add and divide by 2, we get the average stock level as 900 units. Yeah, and those are the two average stock levels for the two products. For product A, it's 850 units, and for product B, it's 900 units. Yeah, and that was all about stock levels. Let's look at the economic order quantity calculations, which is EOQ. Yeah, and the example goes like, given that the annual demand or the user rate for your product is... 2400 units and the ordering cost per unit is 100 shillings and the annual carrying cost per unit is 12 shillings and then required they want us to calculate for the economic order quantity which is EOQ and then find the total holding and ordering cost for managing the product yeah we are going to calculate one by one yeah we shall start with EOQ we shall start with EOQ and from our previous video we said that the formula for calculating for the economic order quantity is square root of 2 times D times C0 times C out of CH whereby D is the annual demand and C0 is the ordering cost and CH is the holding cost. Yeah, then we are going to substitute in then when we substitute in its square root of 2 times the annual demand was 2400 units then times the ordering cost which was 100 shillings then out of the carrying or holding cost which was 12 yeah and when we use a calculator the economic order quantity is 200 units and that's what they asked for in the question then the next thing we are going to calculate for is the holding cost the formula for calculating for holding cost is q out of two times the holding cost per unit when we substitute in q is the same as eoq and our eoq is 200 units so it's 200 out of two times the holding cost per unit which was 12 from the question yeah, and when we put it in the calculator, we get the holding cost for the product as 1,200 units. 
Then we shall calculate for the ordering cost and the formula for calculating for ordering cost is D out of Q times ordering cost per unit whereby D is the annual demand, Q is the economic order quantity and C note is the ordering cost per unit. Here and when we substitute in from the question we had the annual demand of 2400 units then out of our EOQ was 200 and then times the ordering cost per unit was 100. Yeah, and when we put it in a calculator, we get the ordering cost as 1,200. And lastly, we shall calculate for the total cost. We said in our previous video that when we are calculating for the total cost, we add the holding plus the ordering costs. Yeah, and the ordering cost was... 1200 and the holding cost was also 1200 and when we add we get the total cost of managing the product as 2400 and that was all about the calculations in inventory management thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and watch my next video we shall be talking about financial ratios